All right, let's get right into it. What we're going to break down today is this really slick pattern for network isolation called the MSL setup. The whole idea is to create these totally sealed kind of bubble wrapped environments for all your different projects, all on a single Proxmox machine, without completely losing your mind in the process. You know, if you run a home lab or you're managing any kind of small scale infrastructure, this question probably hits pretty close to home. You've got, say, a few different client projects, maybe some personal dev environments, all chugging along on the same host. And there's always that nagging feeling in the back of your head. Are these things just a little too close for comfort? And wow, this quote just nails it, doesn't it? It's that exact feeling, that little jolt of panic when you think a stray packet might have hopped a fence it never, ever should have. It's such a subtle thing, but it can totally shatter your confidence in your whole setup. So let's start there with that stomach tightening feeling because it's born from a super common problem. Trying to run multiple completely separate projects on one piece of hardware and actually guaranteeing they stay separate. Look, the first attempt is always the simplest one, right? You just use the standard Linux bridges, slop some firewall rules on top and you call it a day. But here's the really scary part. This setup is just prone to silent leaks one little permissive role, just one tiny mistake, and suddenly a client staging VM can see another client's database. And the worst part, no alarm bells go off. It just happens. So of course, our next step is to reach for the more advanced tools. But this is exactly where the usual solutions start to show their cracks, especially when your little setup starts to grow. And what's so great about this slide is how it frames the problem. On one hand, you've got VLANs. Sure, they work, but they lead to this thing the source calls complexity creep. Before you know it, you're trying to solve this mental Rubik's Cube of tags and trunk ports. On the other hand, you stick with simple bridges, but you're always paranoid about these accidental leaks from broadcast traffic. The whole thing starts to feel like a Jenga tower, just waiting for one wrong move to bring it all down. So instead of piling on more complexity and making that Jenga tower even taller, the creator of this setup did something much smarter. They looked inward at a really powerful feature that's built right into Proxbox, but a lot of people overlook it. And that superpower is software-defined networking, or SDN. Now, I know a lot of people hear SDN and they think it's some big, scary, enterprise-grade feature. But really, all it is is a way to create and manage your networks using software, completely separate from your physical network cards and switches. And that right there, that's the key that unlocks a much cleaner way of doing things. And inside SDN, the absolute core building block is the VNet, the virtual network. Now, this is the part you really got to get. A VNet isn't just a subnet with a firewall. It is a sealed layer two bubble. That's the super low level where devices on the same local network talk directly. Think of it like a perfect Tupperware container. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out, period. Unless you very deliberately decide to build a door. It's a hard boundary. Okay, so how do we take this idea of a VNet and actually build something with it? Well, that's where the MSL setup pattern comes in. And what's so great about it is that it's not some complicated script. It's just a simple, repeatable pattern for creating those clean, isolated project bubbles we've been talking about. The real beauty here is just how predictable it all is. You can think of it like a little assembly line for your projects. A new project comes in, and boom, it gets its own zone, its own VNet, its own firewall group, and even its own dedicated VPN entry. The result? Zero shared layer two domains across any of your projects. And maybe most importantly, zero reliance on you having to remember what VLAN 107B temp was for six months ago. It just replaces all that mental guesswork with a simple, repeatable process. And speaking of making things easier to manage, check this out. This is a fantastic little tip from the source material that just made me smile. It turns out you can actually embed images, even animated SVG diagrams, right into the Proxmox notes section for a server. So your documentation literally lives right there with the thing it's documenting, instead of in some wiki that nobody's updated in a year. It's such a simple, clever trick. So why is this whole bubble-wrapped approach actually so much better? It really comes down to a fundamental networking truth that honestly is pretty easy to forget sometimes. And here it is. This was the big light bulb moment for so many people. Firewalls operate at layer three, the IP layer. They think about IP addresses and routing. They do not stop layer two traffic, that local chatter between devices like ARP broadcasts. So you can have the most perfect lockdown firewall rules in the world. But if your projects are sharing the same Linux bridge, they can still hear each other whispering at this very low level. 
and that realization alone justifies this whole VNet approach. This table just sums it all up perfectly, doesn't it? The MSL pattern directly attacks the things that actually kill small-scale infrastructure, complexity creep, human error, and just plain cognitive load. So instead of that jungle of rules and tags, you get simple, repeatable patterns. Instead of relying on your memory, you get hard boundaries. And each project just becomes its own self-contained, easy-to-understand bubble. So when you really boil it all down, this isn't just about a neat Proxmox configuration. It's about a bigger design philosophy that really applies to anyone who's building and managing systems. I absolutely love this little anecdote from the creator. He was tempted to over-engineer the whole thing, but then a joke from an AI model kind of snapped him out of it. It's just a great reminder that sometimes the goal is to avoid complexity, not to master it. We don't want to spend our days babysitting a hundred tiny firewalls. And that is the whole point. The best infrastructure isn't the most complicated or the most powerful. It's the kind that can fit inside a single human brain. It's infrastructure that's easy to understand, easy to document, and really, really hard to break by accident. This setup just nails that. So to wrap this whole thing up, I'll just leave you with this one question to chew on for your own setup. Are you relying on a complex web of rules that just one single mistake could unravel? Or are you building hard, simple walls that keep things safely in their own space by default? It's a pretty powerful distinction to think about. 